again because I would come to three three tournaments a week. It would be MSM, this, and uh, FAD, and that's a fun drive. But hey, yeah. you got to do what you got to do. Um, but I, I hadn't competed at any of them, and it was just like you know what, like I love commentary, but I also really like playing. And how how am I going to be critiquing all of these people? And then I run into them in bracket, and then I get body. It's like you know, it's like how I mean. So. A lot of people, they do just have like that, that knowledge of the game, and they can understand Smash a lot, but sometimes like your hands just don't do what you want to do. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So that's, yeah. that's just kind of how it happens sometimes. Uh, I've seriously been taking a huge note out of uh, the Ezol Smash. I mean, I've been taking a huge note from a lot of the top players uh, before we even get into this game, but check out the Ezol Smash series, especially oh, the yeah. training part. That, that dude puts a lot of work in it, but right. all right, so uh, Bass. Yeah, Bass still does play Villager. Mm. Okay, so this is a really interesting matchup. I think on paper, and you're going to be hearing me saying uh, on paper a lot, but I really do like CSS here. Mm. Just strictly because of the fact that you're able to rush down Villager, and I don't think Villager really appreciates getting rushed down. No, not at all. The, the jab buff is really nice, though. The jab buff for Villager. Woo. I don't know. A lot of people not liking that. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that was that almost was, death. That oh, is That's tough. death, though. Yeah, that was an unfortunate pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back in Smash 4, it was not a good matchup for Villager. Zero Suit just had so much time to hunt uh, the Villager down, just really get into his head. So I can see this not being good for Villager still. Yeah, and I think that Vasquez is definitely going to have to take some time to realize how Rival is recovering, because that down B, it's kind of hard to contest. It's not fun to contest, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But Slingshot, that, there's a saving grace in Slingshot, I think. Yes, yeah, Slingshot is definitely, it's really annoying. And if you get frustrated, you're going to get so much percent put on you for it. Yeah. It's so Rival with this really healthy lead that taking that stock relatively early helped him. Big time, big time. But he can't get cocky. He needs to basically extend this as long as he can. But as long as as long as Bask or Ant, now I have Baskin. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Baskin. So Baskin is doing a lot of the slingshot, but he's not really getting the kills that he needs. Oh, SD, unfortunate. Yeah, rival is his biggest enemy here. <laughs> yeah, well, for taking that stock so like early, Bask did put on and uh, take a little bit of percent. He didn't take a lot. He was able to just keep Rival out. Rival tried, probably trying to put pressure on. And they were just kind of putting out his moves a little too fast for him. And even now, we've seen him even it up. Mm. Oh, not even punishing the jab finisher. Oh, yeah, whipping that down B. But he's able to get the up tilt and basically just stops neutral until he gets hit with the down air. Oh, my oh, yeah. God, going right through that bowling ball. Okay. Yeah, bowling really ball, good. really strong. But the saving grace is, oh, yeah. yeah, it kills so early. I wonder if Rebel knew he was dead as soon as he missed that back air off stage. No way. Okay. Okay, up being really early, but still not going to kill. Town and City is, is really wide blast zones. Oh, yeah, really wide. Really high vertical blast zones, too. Good grab. Wow, getting the very threshold of that. Okay. Ooh, oh, just not going to get the kick. Oh, my God. Yeah, and Rival is uh, basically in danger of those bowling balls at all times every single time he gets off of the stage. Because mm -hmm. even if it tethers, it just goes straight down. Just pew! Mm. Uh, I think he was trying to land on the platform there, but to no Ooh. avail. But whatever, we don't, get it. Yeah, don't, t don't touch my shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Villager does have a few out-of-shield options himself. Good forward air. Yeah, definitely his out-of-shield options are usually just nair and jab. Nair and jab. Depending on where they land, maybe even back air. Mm -hmm. So rival down a bit of percent, but as soon as... Ant is playing really don't get on me, and he knows that the second that Rival's going to get in, that he's going to get so much percent. So if you don't let him play... Oh, you see that bowling ball almost connected with Rival. Honestly, if he let go of it, it would have hit. Yeah, seriously. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, that was a bit a little hasty with that other forward smash. Oh, I like that clip kick. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, that was almost really cute. He saw him uh, hit into the Lloyd, and he almost got a downer off of that. Yeah. Rival needs to go for this edge guard. Ooh. Going for the wrong direction. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. I like how Rival's just kind of like laying back, just kind of waiting. A B? Is that going to be it? That's oh, flying out of there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't we, know why I even asked. Yeah. I think a strong wind would blow over Villager at that percent. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, Rival going to take that definitely after. Had a really strong reading, but that middle part and had so much. But he, bringing it back, keeping himself composed. Mm. I saw I saw Rival getting a little antsy there until the very, very end where he was trying to actually keep himself safe. Ants. You don't have to say Basque. Okay, okay no, it's like on his Smash GD, it was just Basque. Yeah, I know. That's what I, that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. This time it's just Ant. Okay, I'll just All call right. him Ant. I'll just call him Ant. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Yeah, okay. I, I, but, yeah, I, I think... Uh, 
if Rival finds some type of way. Like, I honestly don't think that recovering high would be such a horrible idea, especially because Ant loves doing that bowling ball. Even even sometimes when it's not even necessary, he'll just do it. So. It's just such it's just such a thing that puts on that pressure. Oh yeah, big time. Oh. Wow, he only got 1% off of that. That's IB. That was kind of strange. Woo! Going through the platform? Excuse me, I had no idea you could do that. Uh, whiffing the Zare. But uh, Ant not really putting him into a lot of trouble for it. In fact, he's just getting strung up. Oh, wow. Oh. Actually grabbing him through there. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Right. Grabbing him in the air. Really nice stuff. Okay. Alright, just a quick paralyzer jab. Just a random up tilt on the platform. I don't know what he was trying to I'm do. I'm pretty there. sure he wanted to drop down and like do an up air just to land, but... That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Ooh, okay, All right, we're down. grounded. Up B, that's not going to kill. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. The fact that that almost killed, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a really good uh, landing on the stage with the forward air. Uh, that was also a good landing, too. Yeah, oh. that's what I'm saying. Like, Rival tends to, like, he'll throw out buttons sometimes when he doesn't exactly F need smash, to. smash, that's it. Yep. So strong. Yeah. Then we gotta tighten up those inputs. Ooh, that's, rival, that's rival definitely point. looking for that up B a little early. Yeah. I mean, he has so many other options. He has the back air. Uh, oh, that's still hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, running off air. Don't die for that. That was a really good, uh, a really good down smash. But he didn't. I'm pretty sure he wanted to run off and then jump, but he just forgot the jump input. No, okay, that was good, that was good. Now let me ask you, at that percentage, do you think uh, Zero Suit is going to be able to get any type of grab combos? Does she have any grab combos that can deal with this percent? Uh, she has up throw at really high percent. Like up, kill? Yeah, it kills now, but it doesn't kill like stupid early. It only, it kill at like, on this stage, probably around the 180, 190-ish. Oh, probably yes. closer to 200, so like, it's there, but it's not like you have to worry about it at some reasonable, unreasonable percent. Yeah, Villager was at like 150 that last time. So maybe that was just the go-to. Maybe that was just the thing he had to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, but right now, Ant's kind of keeping himself. This is actually a pretty even game. Just kind of holding himself off. Oh, gets a full Paralyze off it. Only an up B. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't say only an up B. That's still a lot of damage and a lot of carry. That's true. Good stuff. Very good stuff from Rival. Oh, he's Ooh, dead. Oh, but that's not he very good He went for it stuff. all. That he was definitely nice. expecting to hit something, either Ant or the, uh, or the the Lloyd, so unfortunately Rival going a little too ham right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought we were going to see a back air or something. Okay. Scouts out the neutral good, but not timing it right. Yeah, I, I like the edge options, though, uh, from Rival. The, the timing was pretty good. All right. After this jab comes out, Rival's going to need to punish. I love the cross-up, too. That was smart. That was really smart. Down A, or sorry, uh, down B. Wow. Oh, wow. That I forgot holding. how strong that whip is now. Yeah, holding shield until the very last moment. That's where it really mattered. Okay. Yeah. Forward throw. And Running up just for the jab. Yeah, get yeah. it. Ooh. Whipping those nares, too. That's kind of unfortunate. But oh, my gosh. That was that, that. was almost it. Rival almost ending Ant's run right here. Mm -hmm. But still a lot of percent. Ant has to start getting oh. something, almost air dodging right into it. That was such a smart air dodge, though. He almost got completely bopped by that laser. Ooh, we're only rolling out of the down smash. Oh, I didn't see that platform at all. But right now, Rival is looking. Rival Please. is moving. Oh, God. Imagine if that uh, that Nair actually connected. Or that was forward air. Imagine if that forward air actually connected. Very good. Oh, I like the idea. Yeah, me back too. Air. Back air. Back air. Yeah, gonna kill. Back air is mad strong. So, yeah, Rival going to take that one 2 0. Oh. Especially even after that, uh, that SD. So, Rival moving on to loser semis. We have to wait for the uh, winner of the guest in Nano, who well, unfortunately we're not able to wait for for stream. It seems like in that matchup, 